Good morning, Mr. Brandt here. Um, time for our drawing of the day. Today we're going to kind of be inspired by a very famous painting, which most of you have seen before and the whole world has seen, uh, is a painting called The American Gothic. Um, what's special about this painting is it was painted by an artist named Grant Wood, um, who was originally from Anamosa, Iowa, which is very close to us here. Uh, and so this is a painting that was all over the country and people saw it and absolutely loved it. And it became a very, very famous painting um, and very recognizable uh, to almost everyone. And so we're going to have some fun with it today. Uh, whereas if you want to try to draw uh, the American Gothic like the real people in it, that's awesome. Um, or we can have some fun and change the heads and do something different. But I know a lot of times when people tackle this, they look at it and they say, oh, look at all those details. That's so hard to draw. And it's really not too hard. So we're going to get started today, or I'm going to try to help you with that. Um, one of the things is on my website, there is a little template that if you want to go to it uh, about what we're going to do, there's three little marks that we are going to try and draw. And that is we're going to start our drawing with these three things. Okay. If you lay these things out on your paper, uh, you're going to be in really good shape. So, we're going to start off with our paper vertical. And when you're looking at your paper, we want to draw three things. So, we kind of want to say, okay, here's the middle of our paper. And I'm going to go up a little bit from the bottom. And I'm going to draw an oval, just like that. That's going to be part of his pitchfork. And then I'm going to go up a little bit to about the middle. And then I'm going to go over to the right a little bit. And that's where I'm going to draw a U-shape. And that is actually going to be the collar of the guy. And then I'm going to go from here, not quite as high. And I'm going to come over and draw another U-shape for the collar of the female. And you can kind of see, let me bring back the painting. We just drew where the little circle there for the pitchfork, the collar and the collar. Okay, so you can kind of see where I'm starting from. Now, the first thing we're going to draw is we're going to start on this side. We're going to come down. We're going to draw two little lines coming down from the circle. And what I want to do is I'm just going to draw a curve and underneath just like this. So this is going to be one of his fingers. And don't worry if it's perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, on the back side here, I'm going to go one, two, three. And then over here, I'm going to go one, two, three and come all the way across. Kind of looks funny. Kind of looks like a weird loaf of bread. Now, I'm not going to draw all the way across, but I'm going to draw his finger lines that go almost to the edge. And it's okay. We want it kind of cartoon. Here, we're going to draw his thumb. So we're going to draw a little line here and then come around. So I drew a little line and then kind of like a backwards C. Now, after that's done, we're going to draw the little opening of his coat, which comes like that. Okay. And then we're going to draw one little line for his arm, but we're going to stop right there. Now, we're going to go back to this little curve line here. Actually, before we do that, let's go to the pitchfork. We're going to start by drawing a line straight up to about the height of here. And then I'm going to just turn it and come straight down for one little sp spike of the pitchfork. Now, for the other two, I'm going to start right in here. I'm going to come over a little bit 
and then I'm going to go straight up, about the same height, curve it, and come back down, and right around. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, out a little bit. Don't worry if it's not perfect. And then I'm going to curve, come back down, just like that. Okay? Now, we're going to go to the, the man's coat. I'm going to start right here. And I'm just going to draw a line straight down all the way to the end. And then I'm going to go to this side and go straight down all the way down here. And then he's got a little collar, which is kind of a different collar. I'm going to draw a little curve here and put a little button. And then down a little ways, he has overalls on underneath his coat. So right about here, I'm just going to draw a little curve line. Because then you can design it any way you want. Now, coming on this side, we're going to draw one shoulder. So I'm just going to kind of come out. And you might run out of paper like I did, and that's okay. Now, this is probably one of the trickiest parts right here. Because I want to draw the shoulders coming down, then go down into his arm and come over. So I'm going to draw this right here. But I have to go behind the pitchfork. So I can go, and if you have a pencil, you can always erase it. I'm going to draw his shoulder, and then I'm going to kind of angle it out and then I'm going to come in for the arm and that might take you a few times to do and because I have extra space here at the bottom some people don't have space some people do I'm going to jump over and draw a little bit of his pitchfork here and then part of his coat coming down okay and that kind of gives us a fun cartoon of the man's body now we're going to go to the the female's body, and we're going to start right here at the bottom of this U-shape. I'm going to do two diagonal lines out. And then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to do a curved line and a curved line. Once I've done that, I'm going to come down and down. And I just made the two collars of her dress. Then she has a brooch, and if you look back at the painting, you'll see she has this little pin that she wears under here. Now, this side is really, really hard. Watch this. And that's it. I was just kidding. It wasn't hard. Now, I'm going to go to this side, and I'm going to come out and down, just like that. Now, one of the things on the American Gothic and on her dress, which I always like to draw, and even if I'm doing a fun drawing of it, is she's got this little ribbon or lace or something. It's kind of like a tunic. It's a dress on top of uh, her shirt. So what I'm going to do is just go right here and I'm just going to do a little wavy line like this. And then I'm going to do another wavy line like this. Okay. And if you want, because on the painting and some, it depends how wide you went, this little thing goes over her dress. So her arm is kind of right right here. You don't have to draw that, but you can draw it. Now, we have the basic design of the American Gothic bodies. Now, what you have to decide is, do you want to make this kind of a fun American Gothic, or do you want to actually do something like the real American Gothic? And, and that is totally, totally up to you. Um, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here so you can see a little better. Now, what I have to decide is how I want to do this. Now, for me, I'm not going to show you what you should or shouldn't do for the head. I want you to do it. But I will just tell you, just draw in a nice size head. You can draw any head you want. You can have SpongeBob. You can have an animal. You can have the real thing. All I'm going to do is draw in an oval for right now. I'm going to just sketch in an oval because I want to just show you something to finish off. So there's my oval. Let's pretend I did some different kind of heads. Now I'm just going to draw the neck coming down to the collar depending on what head you draw. Now you can pause the video for a minute and go ahead and 
finish your heads how you want your heads and then come back to the video and I'm going to show you the second part or the last part of what we want to do with the American Gothic. See you in a second. Okay, hopefully you're back. Once you've drawn the heads, we're going to go and draw the background for the American Gothic. And the way I always start is in between right here. I draw that Gothic style window. And basically, I start with a point. So I start a little dot and then I just come down like this and down like that. And then a line across. And then if you want to make some details with it, I go around the outside edge like this. And then I draw, if you want to look, the actual window looks something like this. There's, you go two lines and then a point. And then if you just come right here, there's one, there's two, and then there's two little lines here. So if you want, you can do anything you want in your window. That's up to you. Now, I'm going to go up above it, and depending on where the head goes, I'm going to draw the roof line. And if it hits the head, then I just stop and go behind. But this one didn't hit it, so I'm going to go here. And then this one goes down and goes behind the head. Okay? Once I've done that, I'm going to go down in here, and I'm going to draw the roof of the porch. And so I draw a line coming out like that and then I jump over the head and I come here just a little bit and then I angle down to the edge. Once I've done that, now I'm going to draw back here and I've got to keep jumping over those things because it's behind it and so I want that. Now I might have a little room to draw that coming down. Now, there's another line we want to draw right here from the American Gothic. It, if you look at the painting, it's kind of, I think it's a roof to a, another little shed or part of the house. Now, we will see part of the wall, so I'm going to draw this coming down, and then I'm just going to draw part of a window that I see right in there. And then you might draw part of a window in here. That's up to you. It depends how much room you have. Now, if you look on this side, and it depends how much room you have left, there's a little shed over here. So I'm going to draw one, two, kind of like the top of a triangle, and then I'm going to go straight down, straight down, and then one, two lines over. So it kind of looks like a three-dimensional little shed. Um, I might have the ground line there, depending on if you have room. And then there's some bushes. So I'm going to draw the top of like a big tree or bush. Back here, there's all kinds of trees in the background. So we're just going to draw these rolling little lines coming there. And if you really look close at the American Gothic, which is really cool, you'll see that little steeple or that little um, power line or some kind of thing coming up in the back, you could draw that and then people will say, what's that? And you can tell them it's actually in the painting. There's a little thing on the top of the house. Now, you could go in and draw some details like you can go in and draw some shingles in here and kind of add that so you know that that's the roof. That's up to you. If you want to draw siding coming on the house, you could draw siding going sideways. You could draw siding coming up and down, that's up to you. Um, and now, this is one of my favorite parts about this, is once you have yours drawn, draw some cool details. And I'm gonna show you one that I did a while ago. Um, this is one that I decided to do different heads. And you can see, let me just show you here, you can see that I did kind of an emoji face, I did a colorful zebra, but you can make yours up any way you want. And that's what makes this really fun. Um, you can just kind of create and do whatever you want on that. So I hope you enjoyed this drawing and I hope you take the time to, to create a masterpiece of the American Gothic, but your way 
and have some fun with it. And hopefully you'll share some of those with me. Have an outstanding day. And remember, art is essential.